bitchman of the matrix 3 an example so an example is recently I got a bicycle fixed the inner tube I asked for a new tube clearly the guy put in an old tube because it was deflating on the day I brought it back home so to speak or took it away from his shop and now I need a new tube after just a month so I can tell it was an old tube he's just haphazardly fixed and just to reiterate this example and why why they are bitch men because if I go back there and I say hey fix my tube give me a new one this time then I ride off without paying then we're even for real but actually he'll go say something to the police right because he's a bitch man and this is just like a little girl kicking you in the shin then when you grab her and go hey you know grab her by the shoulder or something and go hey what are you doing then she goes runs off and tell her dad oh this 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 man grabbed me but she won't say anything about how she kicked you in the shin that's why you bitch men can't handle yourself can't do it yourself run for cover for big brother Okay, part two of this video. Bitchman of the Matrix 3. Using examples. Yep, okay, I'm going to list some behaviours here. There we are. Okay. Yeah, them is an acronym some of us are using in the organic portal movement or awareness movement of organic portals or spiritless humans movement meaning trivial humans establishing mayhem and here I've got the definition of trivial from the internet of little value or importance now you might just say oh now you're just being derogatory towards people then but no <laughs> because of what importance are you if you're not putting anything in the idea of a great work or magnus opus is to leave a corpus after your corpse or a body of work after your body dies some might call this light working other people call it great work or magnus opus and the thing about this is that that's important that's what's created society at all i don't know if you realize but material society has been created from the immaterial immaterial visions like mendelev the 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 predominant creator of the table of elements you know the elements <laughs> gas solids blah 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 the table of elements periodic elements he daydreamed in three consecutive day dreams so dreaming awake third eye stuff he daydreamed in via the benzene ring visions he had table of elements not all the elements but a majority of them and they've been sorted out ever since so basically he, he did create the periodic of uh, elements you know periodic table of elements this is pretty interesting then you have Francis Crick or whatever his name was the guy who saw DNA in a in a psychedelic vision an acid taker yeah took acid tabs <laughs> I mean then we have Terence McKenna with a time wave in a Cartesian graph an oscillation of time of habit versus novelty pretty interesting stuff and he was on mushrooms heavily on magic mushrooms it was all visionary you know he got uh, shown that you know look at this and it's just pretty interesting and there's more examples not just those three guys so 
these are all great works, yeah, they've made us understand our reality, they're called models of reality, that's kind of what the great work is, you're trying to bring a new vision of where we are and what's going on, reality, you know, so trivial humans, or them, they don't bring in anything, they never ever bring in anything, so I'm not just putting them down, this is just... <laughs> descriptatory terms, I'm just describing. <laughs> anyway, so two, of a person. These are web definitions for trivial, which I'm saying bitch men are trivial. They're bitch men of the matrix because they don't stand up for themselves like a real man. And I gave you already an example earlier. Of a person concerned only with trifling or unimportant things. And this is interesting here. Definition three: mathematics, denoted, denote, denoting a subgroup that either contains only the identity element or it's identical with the given group. So I just wanted to go over this and how it actually relates to of a person, denoting a subgroup. <laughs> I'm not necessarily calling organic portal bitch men subhumans, but I am calling them sub hu H U E men. Men of the hue, god men. They're definitely sub human. But they are humans. H U M A N. Just normal anthropoid bodies. Remember that organic portals are just the body, the spiritless humans, they don't have the uh, high dimensional insides. Now look what it says here, that either contains only the identity element, what, like a body? To reiterate what I just said. Exactly, pretty funny. <laughs> Alright, um, following, not leading, for sure, they're just uh, followers, you know. And it doesn't matter, like, what, not necessarily just what society says, you know. Um, it can be the smaller social group, it can be any smaller social group, they're just followers, they need to fit in, even if, yeah, like I said, any, like, social group, even if it's anti-conformity movement, there are spiritless humans in the spiritual movement, there are spiritless humans in anti-conformity movement, even, they are in every movement, everywhere, okay, that's what I'm trying to say, they don't just stick to this or that, they're infiltrative, they're background people of, what, what, little value of importance, background, backdrop, is what Dolores Cannon called them, um, backdrop people, like what, like extras in a movie, they're not the main characters in the movie, they're of little value of, or importance, see, I wasn't just being mean, so yeah, they just need to fit in somewhere, and it seems to me to fill their self-worth uh, void, because it doesn't have anything worthy of merit to put forth that came from themselves, from their self, or higher self. Yep. And just to be concurrent with the current movements, you know, like these shirts that say savages on them, and like videos on YouTube, just people trying to be savage, man. Just totally savage, are ya? I bet you five minutes in the ring with me, you won't be so savage. See you out in the bush, then you're not so savage. Can't even live in the bush, you're not a savage. Couldn't even spend a couple of days in the bush properly. You need to bring all your city equipment in, don't ya? What kind of savage are you then? So really, it's like, a, a, a misnomer that they're hiding under, trying to be cool, and, yeah, savages, but not really savage. <laughs> right. Benjamin Kallenberg, net.
Consciousnesine.com Chronicle.